Well, you know, I think one of the primary challenges for marketing, one of the primary challenges is just getting people's attention. Uh, we do a lot of buyer research at Serious Decisions as well as our pure marketing and sales research. And one of the things that buyers tell us all the time is we're overwhelmed. Right? We're getting so many touches every day. We're getting emails, we're getting phone calls. Yes, we're getting some direct mail still, but we're just bombarded all the time. So breaking through all that clutter is a primary challenge because as you know, being able to generate leads and then of course qualify them requires not just getting their attention, I like to say earning their attention, but keeping that attention as well. And I think that's a primary challenge for most marketers. So what that means is that you have to do a better job of creating your messaging and especially your content assets. When we see companies that do a great job with their content assets, they tend to have five, six, seven times the response rates and in general engagement metrics than those that really think about content as an ad hoc thing that they do. Now on the sales side, I think one of the big challenges there is that sales reps are finding that, yeah, buyers are coming to me and ready to talk to me later in their process. They have all kinds of knowledge that they've uh, accumulated. They've made a series of decisions. And if I'm not equipped to add value to what they already know and the path they're already going down, it's going to be a problem for me. So I think that also creates a, an obligation for marketing to make sure that they're enabling the sales team in the right way. But sales people need to make sure they understand that content, the messaging, the marketing's going out with, because they can expect their buyers to have been somewhat indoctrinated by that when they start talking to them. So they have to be aware. So I think that seamlessness between sales and marketing is critical.